major new update for chat GPT users plugins. Plugins might not seem like something you want to deal with, but I assure you they have some very powerful features. So to enable them, you will have to be a plus member as of now. You'll go down to your settings and then under beta features, click on the plugins. You can toggle this on and off. And then it will, if for the very first time, it'll open up a plugins option window where you can install different ones. If it's already installed, go to GPT-4 and then plugins. You can turn that on. You can see that I already have a couple installed right here, but then you would go to the plugin store where you can see all of the existing plugins available. You can scroll through them down at the bottom. And if you have any that you want to try out, test out, you just click the install button. So I'll install kayak to show you how that works. And once it's installed, it shows up here as a little icon and you can turn on or off them. But if you are in the GPT-4 plugins mode, then you just write a prompt and if it has something to do with one of these plugins, that plugin will kick in and start to, to work for you. What is the cheapest flight from LAX to Hawaii in June? So now it pops up that plugin using Kayak and that's connecting it to real world data right now returning information based off of that their website and it has a link right there to that flight. Okay, let's do a, a new one. So let's go ahead and click new chat, go back to our plugins. Let's turn on link reader. This is a super cool one. This allows us to submit a link to an article or any web page and it will read the text on that page. This unlocks a huge potential for prompting ChatGPT without having to copy and paste text into the tool. So I have this article here on how to photograph a waterfall. If you have a website, maybe it's not optimized, you wanna go back, improve, update your articles or anything, I'm gonna copy and paste this link into ChatGPT. And here's the prompt. Here is an article, I posted the link, rewrite this article with optimized SEO friendly keywords and key phrases. I'm gonna submit that and you should see the link reader plugin pop up. It's starting to use it and read the text from the website. So it's using link reader and now it's writing out the article, rewriting it, including additional keywords and key phrases that will hopefully make this more SEO friendly. So these are just a couple of the plugins. I'm going to create more lessons on specific plugins that I highly recommend that do really, really cool things. And I'll share that in a full section on plugins uh, in this course. But for now, feel free to play around with them. Again, this is only for plus members as of now. If you have any questions or thoughts, let me know and we'll see you in another lesson. Cheers.